already washed my hands today. Cassandra should be more careful with her medicine. Oh, goodness, you scared me. What are you up to, Jeremy? I have to tell someone what is going on here. I have to try. You're not one of them, are you? Please tell me, Grace. You, you're not a spy, are you? Who's spy? Them. The others. All of them. No, you're too innocent. I'm too innocent. I need to get this letter to my niece. She would understand. Just give it to the clerk, Mr. Waits, and he'll post it. No, he could be in on it. What if he won't post my letter? Then don't make it look like it's one of yours. Here, let me do it. Miss Emily Hartwood, the Fan Street, New Orleans. You don't have the number? Not sure the postman's gonna find it without... Jeremy? Where'd he go? I'll just post it myself then. I'll just take this letter downstairs to the clerk's office myself. Uh-oh, Cassandra! I'm touching your typewriter! There's so many books in this house and still nothing I want to read. I wish Batiste would drive me around all day. Maybe if I broke my leg. Look at this mess. They're so creepy. pales in comparison to the foyer. Oh, a little night music. Mr. Waits, hello? 
Last night I dreamt that my uncle hung himself in the attic, that we were too late. The house looked different, but it was still called Dorsetto. Definitely a weird place. Feels like I've been here before, I just can't think why. Let's not waste any time, Detective. Yeah, you're right. Let's go get your uncle, Miss Hartwood. <laughs> 